Hey guys, Xtrain here, and today is going to be a Hydrix Dragon Slayer Guide, and they are 2 million experience base, as in you can literally kill enough dragons to get 2 million experience based on the XP rate on the Wikipedia, and as a consequence, you will get 1.2 mil to 1.3 mil experience in Necromancy an hour, which is actually absolutely insane. So, the gear, honestly, is just, I'm using Razor gear, however, I will say that it's not really important because the summons isn't what we're mainly using to do a lot of damage and get the experience rate. You might even find more success using the tier 90 power armor simply because of the insta kill effect, although I don't really find it too useful in here in this scenario. And also, the tank armor might be good if you're, I don't know, getting beat up or something. Maybe you don't have soul split or something and only can use vampirism. So just saying, if you don't have soul split, you can use vampirism and probably do just fine. Uh, I'm using the Zuck cape, which is just essentially just a necromancy cape from Zuck. Uh, it's not that important. We're not really using death skulls in this method, so any cape will do. It, this is not that important, so don't worry about it. Uh, Essence of Finality, I mean, I would say this is pretty important if you are using tier 95 armor. If you do not have this necklace, it's fine, but it is a really good necklace. I highly recommend buying it. Uh, it, it. It doesn't really matter. Like, you don't need this necklace. You can just use, like, a Amulet of Souls or a Blood Fury, I guess. Uh, if you're using the tier 90 weapon, because you the tier 90 special is really good for doing a lot of damage to... The Hydrox Dragons, especially if you don't have the Soulborn uh, Lantern. I will explain the rotation, so don't need it. don't worry. Please don't think I'm elitist. I've tested this with lesser gear, but I'm kind of like stubborn, so I don't want to bother like fixing my preset. Uh, Ring of Death is pretty nice just for adrenaline gain. I'm not sure if it's the best ring. I'm not sure if maybe Reaver Ring's better for the crit chance, but I don't know. You lose hit chance. I don't know. I'm just using a Ring of Death, so... Honestly, I don't think it's that important. It really isn't that important with how we're doing this. Uh, you can honestly ignore the grasping rune pouches. They're mostly for if you want to use a prism of restoration. If you do bring a hellhound pouch to heal the hellhound, if you if you use this, it places a little prism, and your hellhound will go from one thousand HP to twenty thousand in like twenty seconds. So this is just to keep the hellhound alive. If you have this, if not, you know whatever. Uh, Again, using a Hellhound isn't even the most optimal thing. Uh, if you want to boost your experience rates by 50% to get 3 million plus experience in Slayer an hour, use a Scrimshaw of Sacrifice. These are really pretty they're pretty cheap in the GE. It's like, what, 3.5 to 5 million an hour? Not bad for a 50% gain. The only downside is that you don't get drops, but Gemstone and Dragons don't drop anything good. So you're not really losing out on anything using the Scrimshaw. You're just saving a lot of time. And yeah, again, the I have turn 95 weapons and, and lantern. I, I You do not need this. I don't actually use a special attack here. The thing that is useful is having the five residual soul stacks. However, I will show a, a rotation where you don't need to use uh, the you know those stacks and like, depend on it to kill the dragons. So again, you, if you have a turn 90 power armor set or tank set, you'll do just fine. You don't need, you do not need the razor gear or even a Zuck cape to do this method. Uh, runes to cast, you know, spells, especially Threads of Fate. Uh, the two spells that are really important, I would say, are Darkness, Threads of Fate, and if you want Life Transfer, uh, I think it honestly increases XP rate because you get to keep your summons out and you save Ectoplasm, so up to you whether you want to use that. Uh, we obviously have Ectoplasm to summon. Uh, an Aggression Potion helps the lure them in to attack them better, like just keep it going. Restore potions to sort of get prayer. If you are lacking the Slayer level to kill the Hydra Dragons, which I think are like, what, 101 or something, honestly? Yeah, 101 uh, Slayer. You can eat this pie and you get 6 Slayer levels. So you can do this as early as 95 Slayer. Okay. And what else? Uh, you can bring all that coil and cannons. I'll be honest, I'm kind of just showing that, like, for the sake of showing it. I... In my method, I was not—I did not use an Oda coil at all. I actually even tested the Oda coil here at all. So you probably get more XP by using the Oda coil to like lure them in or something, or maybe if you're lacking damage, just place it in the middle of the room and so you can kill them off towards the end. Up to you whether or not you will use it. For the sake of the video, I won't even be using it. You can experiment with it if you want. Honestly, maybe I'll show something like to do with it. Chromedra gloves four to teleport to the Gemstone Dragon Cave. I'm not sure if Chromedra gloves three can teleport you there. 
But again, I am pretty sure you need to do the hard diary of Karamja to access these gemstone dragons. And it, a general renewal flask is not needed. I'm not sure why I have this here. You can honestly just ignore it. Um, auras, you can either use Madra Aura or honestly even Vampirism. Again, if you are lacking sustain. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to use Vampirism because I don't want people to be like, you are doing so much damage because you have max geared max level. Well, not really because I test this with lesser gear. But yeah, I want to use Vampirism just to show how easy it is. Um, what else is there for... Minutes. Oh, another extra thing is you can take an Ingenue of Humans. Um, it's actually kind of useful with Necromancy because some things you won't have 100% hit chance. Like, um, you might have 70% hit chance. If you use this and use like an, uh, your turn 90 special, uh, Death's Grasp, uh, you will do full damage to it. So I think it's a really cool interaction. Some people think this is like dead content. Like, oh, why do you need this if everyone has 100% hit chance? Well... Hit chance affects, you know, damage, so it has to use. If anything, I've been using this more than I've ever used this sigil before, I'll be honest. Like, this sigil is actually pretty interesting to use with hit chance. Like, it's a cool mechanic. Um, so, for the sake of the video, I will be using a Naiho just because it is better, and also it's less means. Like, if you don't have Prism Restoration, you don't even need these rune pouches. You just can just summon the Naiho and have a better hit chance. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um... I'm going to show you the method now. Uh, I overloaded a talk smashing buffs, right? But yeah, you want to have an overload to solve the... You know, tank the dragon fire. You can also just buy it off the G's or whatever. So, yeah, you just soul split, put on your prayer. You can also use, you know, again, Sorrow if you don't have 399. It doesn't really matter. Um, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm just going to put on Sorrow because, you know, people are just getting antsy. So to start off, summon your... I mean, I'm not even sure how important it is to summon these guys. I'm also, I'm going to really like it. No, I'm not like you, bro. So summon all of them, buff them, use your blood, and then lure them all. And pretty much just attack each one. And once they're all lured, you want to, like, try to lure them behind these rocks. Like, by, like, by running behind here, they kind of, like, come in, if you see. So that's pretty good. So when we have them like this... Uh, I have three stacks, so let me show you the rotation to do if you have tier 90, uh, 90 gear. Is you're going to use uh, Threads of Fate, uh, attack once, tier 90 special, and then a uh, bloat. And they're pretty much all dead. Sorry. Um, by attack once, I meant to say use your Volley of Souls. Um, it also might be better overall to use bloat, Volley of Souls, and then tier 90 special. Otherwise, if you sell there, the dragon died in the middle, and so I couldn't kill them all at the same time. Um, again, I'm not even doing anything with these summons, so to be honest, the most important summon I have is probably just a ghost to heal. Um, why am I dying? Uh, I probably gotta use blood siphon. Oopsies. Probably don't. I don't. Know. I don't even think you really need to do that. Uh, oh, I remember why I'm dying. Because one thing that helps is bloating each target to aggro them, and just using sap, soul sap helps you sustain a lot. Oh, I'm dying because I don't have darkness on. So we just use darkness. <laughs> My bad, guys. And also, you can put your scrimshaw on, but I don't. I max experience, so it doesn't matter. So again, we have them all alert here. So just use your tier 90. Sorry, threads of fate, tier 90 special, and then there you go. They're all dead. I didn't even need a third ability. And yeah, it's kind of like a little fun game, like luring these behind these rocks to make them come in. Like this is a really good rock to make them come in. Another really good rock is this rock. Like these, these rocks around this area, and to lure this guy in, it, uh, you, it's a good idea to go right here, and he'll come in with everyone else. And if you see, oh look, they're all in. And but if I walk here, I think it, I'll lose aggro. I'll lose aggro like right here. I think I'll lose aggro right here. Yeah, I lost aggro, I believe. Yeah, I did. So if you walk um, above here to these two tiles, you will lose aggro. So again, to demonstrate, like let's let's go to like kill them and show you like the, the actual flow of killing these. So okay, let's lure them in. These need to come in. Let's go over here. Oh, that's gonna drain adrenaline. But don't dodge it. Okay, threads of fate time. Volley souls, sap. Volley souls, and pretty much everything's dead. I'm not even using the demon slayer sigil. Um, mm, eh. It could have been a little bit better, to be honest. Mostly because I'm not weakening them. I, I went all sent out. It's fine. <laughs> but uh, one thing that helps is, like, the bloat them. So, like, if you look... Can I get my ghost? 
Oh, I'm dying. Help me. Let me get my ghost. You know, I can't get my ghost because I get hit by the special. You know, I'm just gonna blow. I don't need my ghost. So uh, the most important thing to do here is just blow, and you'll soul split heal everything pretty much. Okay. So as I don't know why I'm gonna be up so much. I'll be honest. Maybe it's the hellhound. Maybe the hellhound actually does help a lot. Because I'll be honest, I never really test this with uh, a Nihil. But pretty much uh, that one's dead. They'll come in, and then threats of fate again. Tier 95. Threats of volley of souls. Tier 90 special, and they'll all die. Why is my pro running out? I don't know. This getting hit by that adrenaline was really annoying. But I really want to summon my things. But again, the most important thing is just have the ghost and the skeleton out, and you're fine. And all you do is just keep doing this flow of luring these dragons in, waiting. And if this dragon gets stuck here, which will happen a lot, you need to go like right here, and he'll come in, and then you can. Oh, I'm going to get okay, good. Geez. Then he'll come in, and then they'll all be lured. And you can just build up your threats of fate stacks and kind of just chill right now, because we just need it to come up. So we're just relaxing. Do -do -do. Threads of fate time, volley. Below tier 90 special, and eh, I shouldn't have moved. If I moved, and then that one didn't get it. because threads of fate will not hit targets that cannot see you, so be sure to do that. And yeah, it, I don't have my freaking Excalibur, whatever. but yeah, take off your offhand whenever, and you can just resummon all your uh, summons, and you'll be just handy. To be honest, it might be a better idea just to play magic because I only tested this with a Hellhound. I'm kind of surprised how much damage I'm taking. Hellhound will pee, right? But yeah, I'm pretty sure you might just be able to play magic here. And as long as you have the ghost out, you might be fine. But again, it's mostly because I wasn't bloating. So, don't judge. Test it out a little bit. And we're going to lure them, these in again. Do, do, do. Go behind this rock. Lure this guy in a little bit. Go behind this rock. Lure this guy a little bit. As I'm as I'm luring them, you get residual soul stacks. Okay, they're all lured. Threats of fate. Volley of souls. Tier 90 special. And they're all dead. And... Pretty good. Again, the most important thing to do there, and why they didn't die the first time, is you really need to weaken them. Putting bloat does so much damage to all the targets. It's just weakens them all. Get them ready for you. Ugh, can I attack? Thank you. Clunky, clunky skill. Bloat them all. Lure them. Soul sap, and just keep luring. And you could kill them like maybe like, because there's six dragons, so you could just kill, uh, you know, five of them, and then single throw the last one, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You can use defensives whenever if, if you need to as well. You can go here. Roll them in. And to be honest, you're like, I'm just dying right now. We're going to throw the feet. Tier 90 special. Tier 99. That one didn't get hit. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm just killing them too much. I'm going to explain a little bit, and then they just die. Hmm. Maybe we just need to hurry up and kill this. So kill that one. Kind of get a hard reset. Because this is just not the best example. But essentially, like, you know what? Your runner will probably look like this. But just know that, like, what I, I only try hard. Not, eh, I wouldn't say too much try hard. But you know what? I tried pretty good. You know, like, a little bit. <laughs> you know, lure them behind these rocks. Just abuse the rocks as much as you can. That one's stuck, it's not a really big deal. We can just use these five. We have five dragons right here. And... Oh, come on, you stinky dragon. Why are you not doing this? I think it's... Mm, I, th I don't typically... You know what? If this happens, I mean, I would honestly just kill them. It'd be like, yeah, you know what? You guys aren't behaving, so you're just all dying. And once they're all dead, you can just single target one. And just be like... I'm also finding more success using magic prayer. I think using magic prayer was more important. You know what? I don't care. We're doing it live. Blow, 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 sap, attack, blur. We only need five dragons, so let's just get them in. I do so much damage. I, I, I Maybe it's because I'm doing so much damage. Like, they're dying so fast. That's almost like, bro, do I even need to lure them? I don't know. Jesus. Click, click the threads of fate button. And I just took so much. Oh my god. But yeah, I, I you won't be doing as much damage as me. They're honestly just getting really low really fast, and it's honestly kind of funny. So it's kind of just the same rotation. Just use like if you don't have the tier 95 special or like five residues, those uh, soul stacks. 
Again, I will show you the best rotation to do. Lure them all, blah, blah, blah. The main prism helps a lot. And over here, lure, lure, lure. And that's looking good. We're gonna dive over here. Oh, uh, you know what? It doesn't count. So we're gonna throw the fate, bloat, volley, tier 90 special, and pretty good damage overall. The biggest reason a lot of things are, these things are dying again is because I'm not resummoning. So be sure to really kill the, these all, and your summons actually really do help uh, weakening these dragons, as I've, I'm finding out right now. So again, every 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 cycle, you just want to resummon all your summons, okay? And I mean, I don't know why I'm in Dusk going. I mean, you can kind of just throw it because we're we're not really using any thresholds. We're just like. This skill is so clunky, I hate it. I'm clicking below and it doesn't go. It, it skills don't go if you move and click at the same time, which is really annoying. Do, do, do. And if you ever want to, you can cast Reflect or something. And block the dragons in. If these dragons are being bad, you can also like kill one and like make room essentially. And I think I need to drink another aggression because they're not freaking aggroing again. Man, this. Oof. I mean, even via 4, you know what, that's better than 0, so, you know what, who cares? Tier 90, and, man, it's okay. That was an okay one. That happens. I almost feel like that happened in Night Hill is actually kind of bad, because then they, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Let's keep luring them, sap them, load them. This rock litter is good. Litter him in here. You can even go here. I think they'll even come in, right? Yeah, this is a really good spot too. So I mean, we only have four. Well, we can get five. We just have to go over here. Go here. There we go. Go here. Volley of soul. Sap. Volley of soul. And yep, there we go. That's much better. Much better. Sadly, I screwed my adrenaline, but you know, oh well, that happens. Dragons come back, attack, attack, just keep hitting them. You really want that ghost out just to heal you, that ghost is just broken. I will say as well, I'm not sure how this method will do, once they, because they will be nerfing necromancy, which has been confirmed, so... It'll probably still be good though, so yeah. That's a really good rock slur, honestly. I'm fine at, I've never done that lure, but that's a really good lure spot. Mm, this is kind of a shitty. Mm. I don't know. That one loses aggro, so I'm not I, I've never I haven't done that one. Again, you can experiment, but the most important rocks, honestly, I would say are these two upper and bottom ones, like the opposite of each other because this rock allows you to have these come in and th this one come in and oh look they're all bounced up like th like these rocks work way better the, the the north and south ones i don't have threads of fate so like i mean you could just like you know kill them but like i kind of screwed up the the whole rotation so whatever threads of fate i don't know just sap just volley sap I don't like the names of these skulls, to be honest with you. So, I mean, to be honest, that's kind of it. And once you get to the fl uh, flow of things, you'll be killing these things really fast. To the point that... Why am I even getting drops? Maybe because I'm 200 mile slayer, does it just not work? That's fine, kind of funny. Because my scrimshaw of sacrifice is on. Why am I getting drops? Am I in a group? Oh, I'm in a group. Make sure you're not in a group. But I mean, I'm turning mel XP anyway. But I was kind. Of, but yeah, it, they won't. The script won't work if you're in a group. Again, let's do the lure. Lure them all in. Do 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 do. And that's good. Go over here. Folly. Sap. Folly. Really good. Just finish them off at that point. The thing that really helps uh, here too is if you had a dragon slayer. Uh, perk to do extra damage or and or a whatchamacallit 
Dragon's Fire Sigil. Because then you can 100% guarantee they'll all die at the same time and you can just restart the cycle. You do have a 45 second cooldown in between cycles though because of the cooldown of Threads of Fate. Like if you look now, Threads of Fate is still on cooldown so it doesn't really matter that I'm wasting time. Although I'm going kind of slow to be honest with you. Eh, that lore is pretty good actually. Yep, yeah, we lure them all. Volley. Bloat. Tier 90 special. All dead. If you're going to use tier 90 special, I think it's very important to be, be building your touch of death stacks. That's something I think I wasn't doing when I was showcasing the what to do as a player with uh, tier 90 gear. Is you really want to build up those Socrosia stacks. Otherwise, your uh, your uh, gra grass, death grass, won't do that much damage. And again, we have time, so we're just lure them around. Stand around here, let them come in. Go here, throw this one to the side. Go here, they'll come in. We have still have time. Five dragons is all you need. You can go over here, wait a second. Threads of Fate, Bloat, Folly, Tier 90 special, and really good. There we go. This is much better. See, these three rocks are really good. You can even do it how I'm doing it. I'm just going from south, north, to west. Again, like, I've only done this method for like an hour, just for fun. And it seems to be pretty good, you know. Can I summon my ghost? I don't I don't like that you have to be next to something to summon your ghost. That's really annoying. So we're gonna attack. Blow. Lure over here. I'll come in. Nice came in. Go behind this rock. The other one might lose aggro, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. They come in. Good. Over here. We're still waiting for our threads of fate. Threads of fate time. Volley. Tier 90 special, blow. Eh, I want tier 95 special. Big issue here again was I didn't um I didn't bloat them because I'm getting hit by the hydric uh, specials. If you get hit by the hydric specials, you won't have a dren to because what you should be doing is okay, I killed all the dragons. Time to summon all my guests, guys. Maybe go around that rock to lure that guy. And blood siphon, bloat, bloat. Attack, float, attack, and this rock right here, castle reflect if you're ever dying, wait a little bit, go over here, alert them in, that dragon's like stuck for some reason, I don't know why, threads of fate, volley, a bloat, eh, he died, that's where, he needs to kill three of the dragons, oh, I did, I did, what? I clicked tier 90 special. I don't like that bug. Sometimes things happen that I did not click. But yeah, if there's ever some Wranglers, just be sure to kill them off ASAP so they can start resetting um, the cycle. And yeah, make sure your aggression potioned. Attack this guy. Lure it over here. Let them come in. Go over here. Let them come in. This dragon is stuck over there. If that dragon ever gets stuck over here, you can just go over here and he'll come in. And we're good. And this is actually good too, because we have five dragons. So, Threads of Fate, Volley, Bloat, and I don't have Adrenaline, so I guess I'll just sap or something. But yeah, I just got bad Adrenaline Lunch on my end. And if that ever happens, you can just kill the, the Stranglers. Tier 90 special if you didn't use it, maybe. And just recycle the whole cycle. Recycle the whole cycle. Um, again, really just trying to show the flow of things. So it's like this is how you pr pretty much do it. Like this is going pretty well. Again, it's kind of hard to do this while talking, to be honest with you. But you know, it's good. Tack, tack, tack. Go over here. Just keep building your adrenaline. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Go over here, and this is looking really good. So we can dive over here. Threads of fate and volley of soul. Tier 90 special. Hello, if you don't have, you know, tier 95. And again, really good cycle. We have enough adrenaline. We can summon all our guys. I'm going to do one more cycle just to demonstrate. And I'm going to call it the end of the video. But yeah, it's a pretty relaxing method because, like, I mean, as you can see, it's not really that hard. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Again, if you're ever struggling, just use a Hellhound or something. But yeah, I'm using like pretty much everything you can ever use. This is pretty good, but eh, I could probably make it better. Maybe go behind this rock over here. Eh. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit better. Dive over here. Threads of fate time. Volley. Oh, and there's my adrenaline. But it doesn't really matter because you have volley. Just keep sapping volley. So see, even if you get hit by the special, not like you're, it's the end of the world. Just use sap. And then just volley again. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, Pretty relaxing method overall. So... It, tell me if you try it. If you try it, it's great. But like again, they 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 said they will nerf Gen X Ryan on a what do you call it? RS guy podcast or something. He, he said that they will nerf it. I I uh, it's honestly mostly the ghosts. But like I understand why they want the ghosts because it buffs other styles. But like I don't know. I'm not a fan of darkness being used on other styles. I'm not a fan of bone shield working when you don't have necromancy gear on. But, uh, I would like them to nerf the ghost. The zombie should maybe get a buff. The ba all the basics and stuff. I can just always talk about that. I've, I, I don't know. I just hope they nerf it a lot. But keep the uniqueness and accessibility part of it. Which is important. So yeah, um, that's it. Bye. I hope you had fun.